Now we're taking each of the drills that we did and we're putting it to music. This is TBZ, the boys. Uh, thank you, Ho Hokey Claremont, and to the rest of your crew for the mu beautiful music that you give us. So she's going to do each of these moves and then we're gonna focus on her showstopper at the end. Once you start dancing, the, the judges and the people are wanting to see you stop not only on time, but to give it a really good showstopper. So for Fancy Shaw, you can stop with your head to the side and your arms to the, to the same side. Let's watch Double L as she um, executes all of her basic moves and she gives us a, a unique showstopper. Arms up. We already went through that first lead. There are how many leads in a song? Very good. So count those leads because they can trick you. Don't go by the honor beats. In one, two, start right now. Very nice. She's doing the crossover. Very good. And there's that pitter pat, followed by a spin. Get back on beat. One, two. There it is. One, two, one. Two. As the song picks up, then our feet are in accordance with the drum. Very good. Arms higher. There's that backwards move. Very good. Good spin right there. As you get just a week ago, it was very hard for her to um, spin. And switch, but with practice, it will come easier. Show them that crossover in the air. Very good. That's just um, a difference of in the air and to the ground. Very good. Notice how her head was in rhythm with her, her footwork. Good job. There's that Chris. Very nice. Arms up. The first thing to go down um, is our arms for Fancy Shawl. So it's very important that even if we get tired, that we keep those arms high. The people will never notice. <laughs> nice. You see that showstopper? That's what I'm talking about. Very good job. Now we're practicing the crow hop. This is one of our secondary songs for Fancy Shaw. Any move that we do in a regular straight song, we can do in a crow hop. We just have to make the timing with our feet correspond with the drum because they are one in the same. Ready? This is Young Bear. And I love this crow hop. Ready? Begin. Crow hop. One, two. Yeah, there we go. When in doubt, listen. Very good. See, she's doing the same moves, crisscross. It's just in a hopping mode. There's that L. Very good. She got back on time. Two, three, arms high. Now, let's see, back to the regular crow hop. Show them the regular hop. It's just from side to side. Lead with your arms. And snap that head back. Boom. Very nice. Now, let's see a spin. Good job, Double L. Boom, boom. See how she's planting that foot? It's gonna help her stay in time. Arms high. One, two. Hold the eyes up high too. Very good. When she held her eyes and her head up right there, it made her look less tired. If you're getting tired, know how to adapt and never let the people know. Good job. Let's see that side to side. Side. Side, good job. Look how the arms, legs, and the head, and the drum are all one. Okay, sorry about that. Let's get five jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, and five. It's probably because I was instructing her and we missed that first verse. But um, with that, we still got to give her a little punishment. So let's uh, take a break here, and then she's going to finish up this class with a double beat. Make sure that you drink water. Come get a drink of water. Water is life. If you substitute sodas, you're going to dehydrate yourself. Can you go ahead and change it for me? Thank you. Lonnie, the DJ, is uh, helping us back there. We want to thank him for all his help. 
That was awesome. The the actual crow hop part was amazing. Don't worry about the ending. You would have gotten it had I not messed you up. But like I'm saying, going back to um, food and nutrition, what we put into our bodies will majorly affect us in our performance. So don't reward yourself at a powwow or during the week with chips and a lot of fried foods and unhealthy things. It's only going to inhibit you in your performance, especially with your drinks. If you're made up of water, then it makes sense to drink water. It's going to keep you hydrated, keep you from cramping, and um, just help you perform a lot better. These sports drinks, yes, they taste good, and they supposedly have electrolytes in them, but they also have a lot of sodium, which is still going to dehydrate you. So water is always best. You can supplement um, some uh, electrolyte drops that you get from an all-natural or, um, you know, athletic website those are great but make sure you look at the ingredients because lots of times there are gimmicks okay we're ready for that double beat when in doubt the mc doesn't have to tell you it's a double beat or a crow hop open up your ears listen to the beat of the drum and then your feet need to be hitting the ground in correspondence with the beat of the drum who is this singing crazy creek crazy creek Okay, so we hear that double beat. This is from originally the Crow tribe in Montana. Begin. Very good. Notice how her feet are in time with the drum. Very nice, leading with the arms. Let's see a spin. Very good. Very good. Staying in time. One, two, one, two. Good job. Back to the double beat. Add your own spin to the double beat. Look to the right. Look to the left. Go backwards. Let's see backwards. One, two, one, two, one. Nice. And back forward. I like this tempo on this. This is a good double beat. Let's see the side to side on the honor beat. Boom. Side. There it is. Side, side, side. Notice her arms, feet. These are moves that are used in the straight part. Straight songs, crow hops, double beats. Just make sure it's in time with the drum. There you go. You will see some of the fancy shawl dancers take it back a little bit more old style. You'll see them add in moves like the crisscross. Amazing. But making sure that she shows the actual double beat step is important. She can add in a spin. Let's add that spin in now. One, two, one, two. Plant, one, two. Very good. What lead are you on coming up? I hope so. Let's see the pitter pat. Can you try that one? There it is, bam. One, two, one, two, one, two. Then take it back to that double beat step. That was awesome. As she comes from week to week, she's just getting better and better, and it's only going to be a good show and healing for the people. On that last honor beat, I suggest a big spin. And that just draws the eye back to the dancer. And let's see a showstopper. Ready? Boom. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you from Raven Street Dance Studio, Double L. You are a beast. And um, just stay tuned for our next class. That was a fancy shawl class. Wonderful.